Prepare, succeed, and become American. Welcome to a new special episode, introducing by The 3B Group. Welcome to The 3B Group. In this video, we bring you the most updated, in-depth guide to the U.S. citizenship interview, covering everything you need to know to succeed. We'll walk you through the latest version of the civics test, including crucial questions and answers, and offer clear insights into the English reading and writing sections. Plus, we'll guide you through the N-400 form and the essential personal information you need to master for interview day. If you're preparing for your U.S. citizenship interview, this video is a must-watch. Please like, share, and subscribe to the 3B Group for the latest resources and tips on your journey to American citizenship. The applicant has completed the security check-in and is now heading to the customer service area. Good morning, how can I assist you today? Good morning, I have a citizenship interview appointment today. At what time is your appointment? At 11 a.m. Can I have your appointment letter and ID please? Sure, here they are. Do you have any other ID? Oh sorry. I need to see only a state-issued identification. Let me check whether I brought it or not. Could you please give me a second? Absolutely, take your time. If you have a driver's license, that will suffice. Oh, I just found my state-issued ID. That's wonderful. I need to check your information in our system. Okay, great. Here are your appointment letter and your ID and here is your waiting number as well. Thank you. Please have a seat as we will call your name or your number when your appointment is ready. Thank you again. You're welcome and good luck on your interview. P11. Martina Olivia Regina. Yes, that's me. Good morning, I'm Officer Robert, and it's a pleasure to conduct your citizenship interview today. Please follow me. Sure. How is the weather outside? The weather outside is just wonderful today. How's your day going so far? Thank you for asking, officer. My day is going well so far, and I'm happy to be here for the interview. That's nice to hear. We ask everyone to take an oath to promise to tell the truth before the interview. So, before we'll start the interview, I will have to place you under oath. Kindly stand and raise your right hand. Do you swear that the statements you are about to provide today will be the whole truth and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Perfect. Have a seat, please. Thank you, officer. Do you know what kind of promise you just made? Yes, I promise to tell the truth. Great. Can you please provide me with your USCIS appointment letter, green card, and government-issued ID you have? Of course, here are my documents. 
Martina Olivia Regina hand over her USCIS appointment letter, green card, and state-issued ID. Thank you. Okay, as a part of the naturalization process, there are a couple of things I need to do before the interview. It'll just take a few minutes. I need to take your picture and skin your fingerprints right here. Can you please move one step closer and look at the camera in front of you? Sure. All right. Now, can you please place your right index finger on the scanner? Good. Now your left index finger, please. Okay. Let me check. Everything is perfect. How did you get here this morning? My husband took a day off and drove me here. Is he waiting for you now? Yes, he is waiting for me at car parking area. Okay. First, we will move to the civics test portion and the English reading and writing tests. Following that, we will proceed with your application form to make sure all the information is correct. If everything goes well, we will be done in about 30 to 40 minutes. Any questions before we commence? Yes, officer. I would like to inform you that I made a mistake on my N-400 application form. I answered NO to question 6 about overdue taxes, even though my husband and I are on an IRS payment plan. Can you show me any document for the payment plan? Yes, officer, I have the IRS installment agreement documents with me. Here you are. It's great that you have the original document with you today. Did you bring you tax returns for the past three years? Yes, officer. I have brought all of the original supporting documents. It's good that you informed me about it. Today is the day when your entire N-400 application form will be thoroughly reviewed and any necessary corrections will be made. Do you understand why you are here today? Yes, I am here for my citizenship interview. Tell me, why you want to be an American citizen? Because I believe in the U.S. Constitution and I would like to vote. Great. When did you become a lawful permanent resident? Since September 16, 2020. And where did you apply for permanent residency? In California. Okay. Have you been feeling anxious about this interview? No, I studied very hard, and I feel prepared. Do you have a physical or mental disability that makes it hard for you to meet the English or civics requirements for naturalization? No, I don't. Good. Now, let's do the civics test portion. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Now, I will ask you 10 questions from the list of 100 civics questions. You need to answer at least six correctly to pass the civics portion of the test. You can just provide one answer. First question. What is the rule of the law? 
Everyone must follow the law. What do we call the first ten amendments to the Constitution? The Bill of Rights. Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. Cherokee. Why does the flag have 50 stars? Because there are 50 states. What is one responsibility that is only for U.S. citizens? Vote in a federal election. We elect a president for how many years? Four. How many amendments does the Constitution have? Twenty-seven. Awesome. You have already answered six questions correctly. So, that's the end of the civics test portion. Oh, I'm glad. Now for the English reading and writing tests. Please look at the tablet in front of you. When you see a sentence, I want you to read it out loud for me. Are you ready? Yes, I am ready. All right. When is Independence Day? Good. Can you use a stylus pen to write on the tablet? Yes, I can. Great. Now please write this sentence on the tablet. Independence Day is in July. Perfect. You have passed the reading and writing tests as well. Oh, thank you. Now, we will go over your N-400 application. Sure, officer. Can you confirm your date of birth? September 19, 1995. All right. What is your current physical address? 5739 Maple Avenue, Los Angeles, California, 90001. When did you move to the current address? I moved to the current address on April 11, 2023. Has your address changed since you sent your application? No. Have you lived anywhere else during the last three years? I lived in Texas before. And the address was 4559 Amarillo, Texas, 79118. And when did you move to that address? I moved to that address on July 27, 2021. Is your current physical address also your current mailing address? Yes, it is. All right. Are you Hispanic or Latino? I am Hispanic. And what race are you? I am white. Who sponsored you for the green card? I'm sorry, officer. Can you say it again? Who helped you apply for your green card? My husband. Was one of your parents, including adoptive parents, a U.S. citizen before your 18th birthday? No, officer. Do you want the Social Security Administration to give you a new or replacement Social Security card and update your immigration status if you become a U.S. citizen? Yes, I do. Great. Now, let's discuss your employment. 
Are you currently employed? Yes, I work full-time as a customer service associate at Rural Supply and Goods. How long have you been working there? About a year now. Are you attending school too? Yes, officer. What school do you go to? I am enrolled as an online student at Southern New Hampshire University. Which program are you enrolled in there? I'm pursuing my degree through their business program online. Okay. Let's discuss the times you were not in the U.S. on your application. It shows you went outside the U.S. twice in the last three years. Yes, officer. Please share details about those trips. Where did you go and how long were each of them? In February 2022, we visited my brother and relatives in Mexico for three weeks. The second trip was a vacation my spouse took me on in December 2023. We went on a cruise and stopped in Italy, Spain, and France, totaling 20 days. What are the last four digits of your social security number? 7091 Your legal name is Martina Olivia Regina? Yes. Is that the same name as on your green card? Yes, it is. Please spell your first name. M-A-R-T-I-N-A -A. What is your last name? My last name is Regina. And how do you spell your last name? R-E-G-I-N-A Do you have a middle name? Yes, it is Olivia. Have you used any other names since birth? No, I haven't used any other names since I was born. Would you like to legally change your name? Yes, I would. What name do you want to change? I would like to change my new name as Maria Jose. Can you write down the new name on a sheet of paper? Sure, here you go. Thank you. Do you know your USCIS online account number? I have a USCIS online account, but I forgot the number. I'll check that for you. It's a 12-digit number that identifies an applicant's account with the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services. So, when you log into the USCIS website, you can just go to the account profile page and the number will be displayed. You can also see this when you check past correspondence because the number may be found on application receipts approval notices or official letters. How are you eligible for naturalization? I have had my green card for over three years. Did you get your green card through your marriage? That's correct, officer. Do you have an email address? Yes, I do. What is your email address? Regina19 at hotmail.com. Where were you born? I was born in Mexico. Are you still a Mexican citizen? Yes, I am. Do you have another country of nationality? No, I don't. All right. What is your current marital status? 
I am married. If you are currently married, is your spouse a current member of the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Where did you get married? I had my most recent marriage in Mexico. How many times have you been married? I have been married twice. On what date did you wed your current spouse? I married my current spouse on the May 7, 2020. Can I see your original marriage certificate, please? Sure, here you go. Thank you. What is your current spouse's legal name? Michael Dawson. What is your current spouse's date of birth? March 19, 1991. Where did you get your previous married? Mexico City. How did the previous marriage conclude? The previous marriage ended amicably and with mutual understanding. Well, do you have your divorce decree with you? Yeah, I do have it. Can I see that? Sure, here you go. Thank you. What is your current spouse's current job? He is a software developer at IBM. All right. How many children do you have? I have a son with my current spouse. Great. He was born in the United States, correct? Correct. Can I have his birth certificate? Sure, here it is. Do you and your spouse have any adopted children? No, we don't. Do you have any children with your ex-husband? No, officer. Okay. What is your phone number? 572-657-8980 Can you say your height in feet and inches? I'm 5 feet 7 inches. How much do you weigh? I'm 115 pounds. What color are your eyes? My eyes color is brown. What is your hair color? My hair color is black. All right. Now, we'll move on to part 9 of N400 form. Have you ever been married to more than one person at the same time? No, never. Have you ever married someone? To get immigration benefits? No, never. Have you ever been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? No, never. Can you explain what prostitute means? Someone who sells sex. Have you ever had any title of nobility? or hereditary title in a foreign country? No, never. Have you ever persecuted any person because of religion, race, political opinion, or national origin? No, never. Have you been a member of any guerrilla or rebel group, vigilante militia, or insurgent organization? No. Have you called yourself a non-U.S. resident on any tax returns 
since you got your green card? No. Do you obtain any public benefit in the United States? No. Since you have your green card, have you always filed your taxes? Yes, I have. Have you ever been a member of or involved in world communism? No, never. Do you know what communism is? A political system in which the state controls everything. Since becoming a lawful permanent resident, have you ever identified yourself as a non-resident alien on a federal, state, or local tax return, or chosen not to file a tax return because you considered yourself a non-resident? No, I haven't. Were you ever involved in any way with badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose? No, never. Have you helped anyone to enter or tried to enter the United States illegally? No. Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with any communist or totalitarian party anywhere in the world? No, never. What is a totalitarian party? Government controls everything and people have no power. Have you ever been involved in any way with forcing someone to have any kind of sexual contact or activity? No. What is forcing? To pressure someone into doing something they don't want to do. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? No, never. Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer for any reason? No. What does this word mean, arrested? Arrested means taken to jail by the police. Have you ever registered to vote? in any federal, state, or local elections in the United States? No, never. Have you ever advocated any of the overthrow, by force or violence or other unconstitutional means of the government of the United States or all forms of law? No, never. What does overthrow a government mean? To remove the government by using force. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent? No, officer. How would you define or explain the term legally incompetent? Legally incompetent refers to someone who is unable to make decisions because of mental health issues. Have you ever associated with any group anywhere in the world that advocated any of the unlawful damage, injury, or destruction of property? No, never. What is your understanding about a U.S. citizen? A U.S. citizen is someone who pledges allegiance to the United States government. Have you ever gambled illegally or received income? from illegal gambling? No, never. Were you ever involved in any way with killing or trying to kill someone? No, never. Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? No. Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No, never. What does misrepresentation mean? 
to lie. Have you ever participated in causing harm or suffering to any person because of their race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group, or political opinion? No, never. Have you ever sold or provided any weapon to any person? No. How about performing works of national importance under civilian direction? I am willing to do that. Tell me an example of how you're willing to help. I will help the Red Cross distribute food and water to the people during an earthquake. Are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes, I am willing to do. What is your understanding about bear arms? Bear arms is to carry or use a gun. Do you support the Constitution and form of government in the United States? Yes, I do. Are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the U.S.? Yes, I am willing to do. Do you swear that everything you've said is true? Yes, officer. Thank you for your responses. Now, is there anything else you would like to add or clarify before we conclude the interview? No, officer. I believe I've provided all the necessary information. Please read the changes that I made based on your answers. If everything is correct, please print your name, sign, and date. I need you to sign your application. Please sign your name on the digital tablet. Thank you. You've done well in the interview. Based on our conversation, your knowledge of U.S. history and government, and your ability to read and write in English, I am recommending your approval for U.S. citizenship. This is a copy of your test result. Thank you so much, officer. I'm truly grateful for this opportunity. If there are no other issues, you will receive a USCIS notice in the mail with the date of your oath ceremony. Do you have any questions for me? No, officer. Then, I'll take you back to the customer service area.